Yesterday, we talked about the new Republican Speaker of the House, Mike Johnson, being certainly the most extreme and radical speaker in modern political history, talked about his agenda setting power and so many of the other reasons why it really matters who is the Speaker of the House. There are a number of new problems for Mike Johnson over the last 24 hours, uh, probably the least vetted Speaker of the House in history. And now the problems are also focusing in on his wife over an organization, a so-called Christian organization. It sounds almost insane to call it that a Christian organization that likened being gay to bestiality and incest. Yeah. So here's what's going on. Um, HuffPost has a good report. Mike Johnson's wife takes down website that compared being gay to bestiality and incest. You're not going to be shocked at the sort of organization that was doing this. Take a look at this. House Speaker Mike Johnson's wife took down the website for her company, Onward Christian Counseling Services, a day after HuffPost pointed to documents on the site that compared homosexuality to bestiality and incest. Now, remember, Mike Johnson has problems with this issue as well, previously arguing that uh, homosexuality should be criminalized, criminalized. If you can think of a more insane thing, HuffPost reported Friday that Kelly Johnson, the wife of Mike Johnson, is owner and CEO of an organization called Onward Christian Counseling Services. Now, I'll tell you right away, just because of the name, we already know a ton about these organizations. There is a movement where non therapists, remember, they are not licensed therapists, take advantage of the idea of clergy as counselors to say that they provide counseling. They don't say that it's therapy, but they obviously want to be seen as providing an equivalent service to what a psychiatrist, psychologist, licensed independent social worker, licensed mental health counselor, counselor, licensed marriage, uh, marriage and family therapy. They want to create the impression that they are equally qualified when they are not. So when you look at this, you see that onward Christian counseling services promotes Bible based pastoral counseling. That is not therapy. You can say that it's a good thing or that it's a bad thing, but it is not therapy. Her website featured a link to its 2017 operating agreement, which lays out the company's corporate bylaws and says that the business is grounded in the belief that sex is offensive to God. God will be offended. He will turn up his nose. He's very busy running the entire universe. But if two dudes have sex, it's really going to piss him off if it is not between a man and a woman who are married to each other. It specifically puts gay, bisexual and trans people in the same category as people who have sex with animals or family members, citing all of them as examples of sexual immorality. Here's a quote. We believe and the Bible teaches that any form of sexual immorality, such as adultery, fornication, homosexuality, bisexual conduct, bestiality, incest, pornography or any attempt to change one's sex or a disagreement with one's biological sex is a sin and it is offensive to God. That's in their business document. The website was live Friday. It was gone by Saturday afternoon. Um, <laughs> so these are truly sick people. Um, just because they removed it obviously doesn't mean they don't believe it anymore. They do still believe it. And, you know, I have to tell you, I would have more respect. I have very little respect for these people, but I would have more respect for these people if they left it up. If your opinions are so awful that you can't stand people being aware of them and you can't stand the heat that it might bring you, maybe you need to rethink some of your views. Now, of course, if you went to them and you said, do you really believe in this stuff? If you took it down like that after it caused a problem? They would say, well, no, it's because of the woke left. They're coming after us. It's so unfair. They're suppressing speech and so on and so forth. But this is, again, one of the sorts of problems that is now facing Mike Johnson uh, because he has not really been vetted in any serious way. 
election denier, views on climate are insane, views on abortion are insane, views on LGBT issues are insane, uh, views on what the role of a religion and not any religion, his religion should be in civil government are absolutely unconstitutional. And now they are finding themselves in this position where there are already some Republicans who are not pleased with what is going on with Mike Johnson. Do I think this will lead to him losing his speakership? No, probably not. I, I don't think that that's likely. I think they're going to keep him. But it is already a beleaguered speakership. And this is the sort of thing that happens when your party is in complete and total disarray. Couldn't happen to a worse guy. He genuinely seems like a terrible person. That's the impression I'm getting from everything I've learned about him over the last 48 hours. Breaking bad habits can be really tough, but Fume is on a mission to make it a lot easier. Now, let me again remind everybody, our sponsor Fume is not a vape. I would not be advertising vapes. There's no nicotine. There's nothing electronic. Fume is just a small wooden cylinder that delivers tasty plant flavored air that that's all it is. OK, first of all, People love the flavor, bunch of flavors, crisp mint, maple pepper, orange, vanilla, raspberry, lemon. OK, there's the physicality of the device. It fits in your pocket. You carry it around. It gives you something to hold up to your mouth. So if you're breaking a bad habit, the hand to mouth piece of it is a big deal. Your hands want something to do. This gives you that. It also has an adjustable airflow dial and a magnetic end cap which you can just fidget with when it's away in your pocket, which is also useful for some people who are trying to break these habits. Just go and read the reviews online. Fume has transformed bad habits for thousands of people. It's a great alternative for the hand to mouth habit. Go to tryfume.com, Use the code Pacman to save 10 percent when you get the journey pack, which comes with the device and several flavors to try. The link is down below.